Alright folks, this is part two of the mass generator or transferable mass gravity generator. Uh, right now you see these two pine cones I've got hanging on there. They're both pulling on one of these gear setups. I have a set of tiny neodymium magnets spinning in there right now. And that is AC voltage. So we're only at 0.02 basically of a uh, volt there. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and switch this over to amperage and show you what we've got at AC amperage. Okay. So we're now sitting on AC amperage, as you can see on the meter there, milliamps. Uh, we are about five, six milliamps right now. I'm going to show you what's going on inside of here. You see that little spinning set of magnets there, some duct tape hooked up to it. I have a little crude coil wrapped. Uh, that's hooked up into my voltmeter there, as you can see, running around. So that's all that's going on right now. It's just two little tiny neos being spun by the weight of this uh, mass object falling. Uh, that is right now generating electricity with a single coil. Once again, at about five to six milliamps at 0.02 of a volt. So there's actual usable energy over time. Now if I go ahead and pull down on this cord right here with my hand, you'll watch the amperage increase dramatically. Okay, let's say we got 16 milliamps now. Once again, I'm gonna switch this over to AC voltage. And we're gonna do another test with me pulling down again on the chain, if I can get my hand behind it. Okay, so watch the voltage now. All right, so let's say we have 0.056 uh, of a volt, and we had uh, 16 milliamps. We'll see what kind of wattage that is. All right, real quick here, I want to throw something in here and just let you uh, kind of ponder this in your mind a moment. This is not only a mechanical generator, but this is a mechanical energy storage device. Otherwise, it's basically a battery, a mechanical battery. So you could have an external source, let's say a windmill or a solar panel or a hydroelectric system, recharge this, rewind the system for you throughout a period of time, and then you could release that energy once it's fully rewound and use that energy over a sustained period depending on the mass and the fall length. Uh, so basically, you could take this system, make it large, and at home, replace your batteries uh, for your solar panels and wind generator. And replace that system with something that requires a lot less maintenance, obviously much more environmentally friendly than our standard batteries. Uh, it's got to be a large system. Remember, these are going to have to be uh, 20, 25 feet off the ground and at least a ton of weight sitting on the, uh, the drive system here. That way you'll have enough power over a sustained period to produce, uh, to light up your home. And so I thought I'd throw that in there just so you could think about the possibilities of not just a generator, but also as a battery system or a mechanical storage device for energy. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Mr. Teslonian and the Teslonian Man Show.